it came to my mind what? Mind Mother Moses wanted to kick don't in. Nothing, you know, like, don't say a word. Don't say anything. Just let it go. They don't know who it is. You know, they don't have no idea. Yeah. That was my mind Mother Moses. They just shut up. Don't say a word. Don't even, you know, just. And then, but then, you know, my conscience. I mean, I was a Christian then. Now, of course, you know, I'm on the, getting, I'm on the word, getting the word. Yeah. Amen. But I was a Christian. And, my, and you know, God said, you know, i got to come. i got to tell them the truth. Yeah. I got, there's no other way. There's no other way. Lord, have mercy. I prayed that morning. Lord, I just, I'm going to go in there. I'm going to become clean. I'm going to tell them it's me. And so I did. And, and so I went to I went to the manager and I said, you know, I said, Stephanie, you know, it was me. You know, I overheard you telling, telling uh, Tim that somebody was making calls. I said, you know, I apologize. I said, I thought that those calls were free. I thought that was Watts, Watts line was free. And I said, you know, I, I apologize. I said, I will want you know, I will pay for the calls. You can just take them from, you know, my check or what have you. And so I, you know, I apologize. And so, you know, but, and then the grace of God mm -hmm. kicked in, praise God. Because it was like a few days later, she says, you know, we went to the owner and he said, don't even worry about it. Don't even have to worry about paying the, the bills. Like over $700 is what the bill was. It was a lot of calls. Wow. Wow. And she says, she says, he said, yeah. don't even worry about it. Just don't, don't do it again. I said, oh, thank you so much. You know, the grace of God. Yeah. Amen. And yeah. always. But that's the righteous way to do it. But see, the mind will emotions us. And until we train, we said we have to retrain our thinking. Retrain. We got said to renew your mind. Amen. Change the way you think automatically your mind will and emotion is going to want to protect yourself. See, it's self-preservation that comes in and says, oh, no, don't say anything. Don't say a word. They'll never find out it was you that was on the phone. You know? But no, what would have happened if I hadn't have gone? What would have happened if they had to come find me? I would have been fired or written up or had to pay the bill. But, I don't. Yeah, wow. It was T.D. Jakes and somebody I was listening to, and they said it's something like this here. It's not necessarily God does it, but sometimes it will allow situations like that to happen to see where you at. That's part of training. Well, praise God. Praise God. It's not so much of training, but you know what? That was, number one is, let's, let's break it down. Number one, it was wrong of me. To be using on company time, to be using those phones. I'm just going to be, be real, okay? Because let's talk about righteousness. It was wrong of me to be on the phone, even though it was on my lunch hour. But I shouldn't have been on the phone, you know, making those calls from that phone. Really, I was really wrong to, to do that. And that's to be real and honest, amen? So it was me, really, yeah. that I was wrong to, to do that. And then, now, and when we do things that are wrong, who do we open the door for? The enemy. The enemy. If we do things that are wrong, we open the door for the enemy. Because he's always working. He's always looking for a way to access in. Amen? So, number one, if I judge myself wrong, you know, I should have been doing that. I should have been waiting until I got home or wait till me on my own phone where I know or my, you know, whatever. And then make the calls. And then, um, so a lot of times when, you see, God doesn't, he doesn't test us with evil because that's not his makeup. But our flesh will do wrong things. And then we put ourselves in that place where the enemy comes to try. Because see, he wanted to fire me. He wanted to beat me out of there. He wanted to steal from me. And so he was he was banking. He was hoping that I would, would that he could do it. That he could, you know, get steal seven hundred dollars from me or take it and make me have to pay that bill. But see, but when we understand that, then we understand how the grace of God works. Amen. So, um, so, but it was God who told me, go and tell him the truth. Do the right thing. Do the right thing. See, God is always in the right. He's going to always tempt you with doing what's right. So that was God, God's part. It was me, my flesh, doing the wrong part. Amen. Go make the calls. The devil came in through that open door, and then God said, go do the right thing. And then the grace poured out. And then gave me freedom and gave me blessing. And I, you know, he, he gave me unmerited favor. Yeah. So that's the key. So again, but now when, um, when disappointments come or when, or, you know, that place of being selfish or being full of pride where we don't want, I was talking about that, talking about pride, where we don't want anybody to know, we want to hide things, you know, we don't want to be transparent, you know, and, um, you know, that's not God either. God wants us to be honest. Honesty will always 
he'll always get right in the midst of that. Mm -hmm. He'll always plop right down and give you unmerited favor if we're honest. Amen. Say, I got to be honest. got to be honest. And then um, another thing, too, with disappointments come, and we're going to wrap it up here, but party spirit. You know, a lot of people think, okay, well, I'm just going to party hardy. I'm just going to, you know, I'm going to party and get over this. I know I'm going through a hard time. I was disappointed, but I'm going to drink and party myself. I'm not going to look at that. And then they, a lot of times people go into alcoholism and drug addiction because they're trying to deal with these contrary circumstances apart from God. They're trying to deal with it with our mind, will, and emotions. And it leads them into that, where they're partying and they're looking for a good time. You know, they're, you know, trying to, you know, but guess what? When it's all said and done, that problem is still there in the morning. Amen. That unhappiness, that burden is still there in the morning when they're and saying, good morning, I'm still here. <laughs> you know, but if we deal with it with our spirit, that's why God said, sow to yourself. And how do we sow to ourselves? We sow to our spirit with the word of God until our spirit rises up within us and it will put us on the right, the right path with our mind, will, and emotion. Did you get anything out of this today? Yeah. Go ahead and stand up with me. Glory Praise the Lord. Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Glory to God. God is so good, isn't he? Thank you, Father God. Hallelujah. Let's thank him right now. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Father. Lord, we thank you for your life. We thank you for your goodness. We thank you, Father. Let's thank him right now. We thank you, Father God. Lord, we're so in righteousness. Hallelujah. Say those me. Say, Father, I'm so in righteousness. I'm sowing to my spirit righteousness. I'm sowing to my life righteousness.